Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Everything OneNote. Today we're going to have a look at templating um, and more specifically how we template for a subject like maths. Templating is really great. Um, once you've kind of got a really good template that you like, you just reuse it over and over again and you just make the um, necessary adjustments to it depending on the work that you're delivering to the students. When I create a template, I always like to put in like an example of the work I'm going to do. So I've got kind of the space to work around first. So in this case, um, what we'll do is we'll put in some questions. You have two real options when it comes to putting in the questions or the work that you want the students to do. You can, of course, just type it, you know, so I can go question one, find 20% um, of 230, and you know, I can go down and go, um, two and so on and so forth. I can leave the space for the students to type their answers in or if they're using a stylus they can write as well. Your other option is, is if you kind of already have something like you have a PDF already done that you used to use. If we click here on print out I'm going to find my percentages worksheet here. Go open if we give it a second there it is. I'm just going to zoom out a bit because that's taking a bit of a room. Oh and you know, I'll get rid of the attachment. The students don't need the attachment. They just need the worksheet. So when the worksheet goes in, it will be kind of easy to pick up and move. Um, what you will need to do, because you want the students to work over the top of the worksheet, is you're going to have to right click, and then you're going to have to go set as background. And that means that we can't pick it up and move it. Students can come in here, you know, they can start, um, you know, typing um, their answers in, so on and so forth. Um, when they click away, it will stay there. Um, if they've got a stylus, they can kind of write in that space. Just keep in mind how much room is available on the worksheet for them to use. So we'll leave our worksheet there. Now, the template side of it. So the this is the part that I like the most, is that you can structure your like assistance for learning or kind of creating that independence for them to go ahead and use the worksheet, especially if they're not at school, by creating a really good and really clever template. So what I'm going to do is I always like to kind of use the art tools or the drawing tools inside here to structure it and make it all look nice and pretty. So the first one I'm going to do is I'm going to put in like a video instruction. So as if this was kind of going to be like a flip style learning. So if I go draw and I go here to shape, Actually, what I'm going to do first is pick a color I like. So let's choose this pen. Let's go green, shape, and we'll go for the rectangular square one. Now what I'm going to do is over on the side here next to the worksheet, I'm going to draw myself like a square. And let go. Wonderful. Clicking back on the options to write text. Okay, I might come here and I'm going to call this, uh, you know, video support. Okay, I can even kind of write under it, um, please use headphones, you know, just in case we're doing this in class. And, you know, I can pretty this up. I'm not going to go too far. Um, this, we just want to make that smaller just so you can see, you can kind of make it look less discreet. You know, you can, you can go in here and you can change the fonts and the sizes and everything. I'm just going to kind of keep it nice and simple for the tutorial. So let's pull that in. There we go. Video support. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use um, a video. It might be my own. It might be someone else's. In this case, I'm going to use this one here by um, Emma Drazy. She does lots of really amazing um, mathematics videos. Um, so I'm going to come up here. I'm going to right click and copy the URL to her video. And then I'm going to go back to my OneNote and I'm just going to paste that in. There it is. Okay, I'm going to click to select it. And then what I can do is just minimize it, bring it up to into the space a little bit better. I can even make it a little bit bigger. And there's some a little bit of video support for students. You know, I might not be there to support them. They might want to do it independently. So they can kind of come into this space. You know, they can zoom in. They can click there and that is going to load that video up and they can watch that. Okay, they can also click on the link which will take them out to YouTube as well. So we'll leave that one for now. And we zoom back out. 
I'm going to create another section, and this is a really great review section I like to use as a teacher. So if I go on here and I click to insert, sorry, a shape. Okay, I'm going to click here to draw a rectangle. We're going to pull this one down, and there it is there. What I'm going to do is just use a piece of like clip art that I found off the web. Okay, so um, this one wasn't in any of the uh, in any of the libraries, um, so I've just found it off the internet, and it's just I'm using the traffic light system. Okay, um, I'm just going to minimize that a little bit more here because what I want to do is I want to put a heading in. Yep. Um, really important tip is if you do make changes to your first initial heading up here, so I haven't changed fonts or sizes or anything, but if you do and you want to keep consistency, just go up, copy that one, paste it down, and then just, you know, go over the top of this and write what you want it to say. So, you know, I'm going to write, you know, how um, do you feel after doing the whoops, questions. Now, I'm going to want the students to identify which one they identify with. Okay, so what I'm going to do is off the side here, I'm going to write um, I'm okay, and then in a separate one, I'm going to write um, I'm not sure, and in the last one, I'm going to write I'm, oh, not I'm, sorry, I need some help. Fix that up, there we go. So um, that's all good and well, the words are there, but again, you're kind of wondering how are they actually going to click on which one is relevant to them. What we're going to do is click in front of the word I'm, I'm going to go up here to home at the top left, and I'm going to go here to tags. So if I just click the first one, for example, it puts a little box in front of it. So I go to the next one, a little box, and next one, and a little box. And when you kind of do that student review process, the students, you know, would have clicked one of these, and you can kind of see which one. It gives you a really nice quick indication about how they are feeling. The other thing I even like to do as well is just put like a question box in. So coming into here, um, grabbing another rectangle, Pull it down a little bit so it's separate and you know just writing questions popping it in there and it gives a space for students to come in here and they can type questions that they have the last really cool one i want to show you is i quite often like to as part of my template put in an option for them to create their own quiz so that's what i'm going to call it. i'm going to go make your own quiz, and I might even put, you know, 10 questions. Now, you will have to explicitly teach the students how to do this process, but it's pretty easy. Oh, I just want to kind of center that up, make it look a little bit prettier. There we go. So they would have done their activity, and what you want to do is kind of um, get them to make their own review. So what we do is the students kind of have to come in to this, this workspace here. We want to go up here into insert and click on equations. And then they write in, they make up a question. So, you know, um, they might go 30 divided by 100 um, times uh, 220. Now, um, the harder the question they write, the harder the quiz will be. So there's their example question. They highlight that and they click here at maths. Now, the maths tool, if you're not already familiar with it or watch the video on the maths tool, um, they can, you know, evaluate to solve that to give them the answers. They can see the solutions for the steps. But the last one I love here down at the bottom is generate a practice quiz. So I'm going to click that. And what's basically going to do is a little bit of AI is going to work with Microsoft Forms. Now, the students were asked to generate one that had 10 questions. 
So I'm going to click generate that quiz. We're going to let forms do its magic here. And there it goes. It's actually going to embed it. Now it kind of just throws it there, like just under the question. So I normally just tell the kids to just pick it up. You won't get every kid to kind of do it. They'll kind of just leave it where it was, but pick it up, drag it over, maybe even down a bit there. Okay. Just somewhere it's nice and neat and tidy and easy to find. And then they have a little practice quiz and, you know, they can go through. And even if I just pick all the last ones, so I shouldn't have chosen 10 because it's going to take too long, seven, nine, 10, they can answer those questions, click submit, and then straight away kind of review their results. And I did really bad at 10%. I must have I got one question, right? Um, so that's a really great way. And then when you're reviewing this, one, you get to see the work that they've done. Two, you kind of get to see how they're feeling about the question. Three, you can see if they've got any questions they want to ask later. And four, you can actually see how they've gone in their own review. So, you know, if you were re reviewing me, you might be slightly concerned. Um, so I probably need to come here and go, I need some help. Um, so that's my little template there. If I kind of zoom out, you kind of see how it looks. From there, I will just pick that template up and use it again and again and again. Okay, so I will, you know, click here to um, get rid of this background. It's gone. I don't want um, this quiz, obviously. Don't want that question in there. And, you know, in this case, I'm going to have to go find my video support for whatever the question is going to be. So there's my little template that I'm going to use. Um, you know, all I'm going to do is next time when I have an, um, I want to do another sheet up with them, I'm going to right click, copy it, paste it, and then just put my new math questions in and fill in the video support, um, and just go from there. Anyway, I hope you guys find that template really helpful and we will see you again soon. Cheers.